my name is Liv and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be creating an art journal. I've been wanting to do art journaling and junk journaling for a while now, but never got around to it. So I created my own. After watching YouTube for some inspiration, I got started. And looking at a blank notebook can be daunting at first, but once you put something down on the page, everything else just kind of falls into place. So I chose a theme, fairy core floral, grabbed some collage paper, glued it on with Mod Podge, and here I'm adding some lace around the spine. I didn't do the back because it's quite tricky to get the paper around the elastic band, so I just left it like that, and I think it's fine. You won't see it much anyway. And then I added some gesso. I wanted to make the cover really simple. I didn't want to add too many things. So I just put gesso on one corner. I also added a little flower charm there and the art journal title to finish it off. Moving on to the inside cover, I did a wash of pink with my watercolors for the background. And I found this beautiful little floral image from my art magazine. And that the colors of that fit perfectly into the background. So that's what I based the whole page around. And I found what really helps me in deciding what to do on the page. is just putting different things down. Seeing what looks good and what doesn't. And after trying out different things, I settled on just putting the image down as a focal point and then adding some gesso on the corners. A little bit of tape on the sides of the image and a doily on the other side. Off camera I did put some lace tape on one side and a quote on the doily. Sometimes after looking at a page for a while, you might find that you want to add something else. And I think that's part of the fun of art journaling is trying different things and seeing what you like. For the first full page, I looked through my art magazine and found this painting I liked. And I thought a page, a fairy would look great in the middle of it. So I grabbed my fairy stamp and stamped it into the middle of the image, as you saw. And it looks like the fairy is like walking out of the forest, which I thought looked really pretty and it also matched my theme. I took inspiration from the colors in the image and used purple and pink watercolor for the background and some gesso for a little border. When I was gluing the image in, I realized the page wasn't laid out flat enough, so the page is kind of folded in the middle, but I don't really mind that. I found this cute little butterfly from some leftover collage paper I had. So I carefully ripped it out and placed it on the corner here. I did think about putting some pressed leaves on the page, but I thought it would distract from the focal point, so I decided against it and added two little quotes and some tape instead. For this last page, I used the craft supplies I showed in my art journaling haul short, and I chose this pretty floral pattern paper for the background and drew this little hippie style girl. <laughs> the video sped up so much I have to talk real fast. <laughs> I used water soluble crayons for this. Just adding some die cuts that I got from my haul and Mod Podge them on there. And for this page, I just added a tag that says, You are beautiful, a little butterfly in the corner. 
All that's left to do for this page is add a little gesso here and there and the page will be finished. And here is the finished cover and the finished pages. I really like how this journal came out. I love fairies, nature, animals, pink, purple, girly things. It's all very me. It's also really cohesive and it was really fun to do. So if you want more episodes of art journaling, let me know by hitting that like button, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!